In this video, I'll be showing you how to scan a document or image on your Canon Pixma printer and turn it into a PDF. Now, this is a fairly easy procedure. I'm going to be taking you through the step-by-step -step solution to it. So please continue to watch and you'll find the solution to your issue. So this is the Canon Pixma E337 O model. If you don't have this exact printer, but another Canon Pixma printer and scanner, then this should work for you as well as it works the same way on the internal side of the computer and the printer. So this should be a very easy solution for you if you don't have this printer exactly. That's not a problem. What you'll need for this video is, of course, your document that you'd like to scan ready. Have your printer on and make sure that there is a consistent green power light to make sure that the power is good. Make sure that you have your computer. Uh, at this point, you should have your PC connected to the printer. If not, I'm going to show you what you need to do there. The first step of this will be, of course, to open up your uh, scanning slide. Make sure that it's clean. Of course, the door isn't, you don't want anything to be in the way, as this could cause a problem with the printing or scanning, and it may give you an incorrect scan. So make sure we have our document here. I've just done a test page for it. Now what we're going to do is put this flat face down onto the glass screen. So make sure that the scanner is facing the paper. What you also want to do when you put it in is make sure that the top left corner is completely filled with the paper as the, uh, the sizing is just a bit off to make sure that you know which size you're using. So if you're printing or you're scanning an A4 size paper, you should be able to see the notch there line up with the paper. And likewise, on this end, the A4 should line up there quite nicely with the paper. And this is a good way to know that the paper is in the right position. If it is uh, slid down like this, you can see that it's uh, overlapping the A4 and it's not quite in the corner there. Then that will mean that it will uh, be an incorrect scan and you may have a poor result as a result of that. So what we're going to do now is just put it into that correct position close this lid and then we can not touch the printer for a second. We're going to go over to the computer and take this to the next step. What you want to do is open up your settings, go into the search tab and search for the printers and scanners. Once you've done that, you'll come to this page. Now my printer comes up here as I've connected to it already, but if yours is not there, then you can add a new printer, scanner or fax and it should be on this list here. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. There's the cable approach or the cableless. We do have a video on each of those in a bit more detail than this. So if you're still struggling with this part, then you can check that video out for more information on that. So this is where you'll find your printer and you can connect to it there and add it. Now, if you've already done that, you can close that. And now it will be synced up there. Now, the next step will be to open up the printer itself on your tab you will go to open scanner. Wait for this to load. And there, so it's loaded in the image, scanned it for you, and you now have the ability to change a few of the settings. And what we're gonna focus on is the format. So at the moment it's set to PDF. If you need to change it to anything else, of course you can, into a JPEG, PNG, any of these options are available, but we're gonna stay with PDF for this video. You can now, of course, go ahead and scan your image and then save it as a PDF file. Hope this video has been useful for you. If it has, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you do have any comments or anything you'd like to let us know, please put, feel free to leave a note in the comments section and we'll be sure to check that out. My name's Pat and this is Printers with Pat. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Have a good day.